the protein P53 is one of the most important tumor suppressor proteins in the human genome and about half of all human cancers either lack P53 or possess a mutated form of P53. The protein has a number of separate regions which perform distinct functions. One region can activate transcription. Another region can bind to signaling proteins and function in a number of signaling pathways. Another region is responsible for binding to DNA. Another region is responsible for complexing with other P53 molecules to form the tetramer, which is the functional form of this protein. And another region can bind damaged DNA. P53 has many functions in the regulation of the cell cycle and can interact with a number of proteins. Its major function is its ability to bind to DNA and to turn on the activity of some genes by allowing transcription while repressing other genes. If P53 is activated early in a cell cycle, this could initiate responses to damaged DNA so that the cell cycle is arrested and the cell does not divide until the damaged DNA is repaired. If P53 is activated later in the cell cycle, this could stimulate a cell to initiate programmed cell death or apoptosis. Thus, the normal functioning gene suppresses cells which would otherwise divide abnormally and thus it is a tumor suppressor protein which regulates the cell cycle and prevents cancerous growth. The first patient in this example will not develop cancer because they possess only normal alleles of the p53 gene. The second patient in this example is heterozygous a carrier for a mutant form of the p53 gene, but this mutation is a dominant allele because it has an abnormal shape. And even though the individual does produce some normal p53 protein, it complexes with abnormally shaped mutant protein, resulting in abnormally shaped tetramers which do not bind DNA. So this individual will be likely to develop cancer even though they do produce some normal protein. In the third case, the patient will not develop cancer even though they are heterozygous and a carrier for a mutant form of p53. Even though one of the forms of the p53 gene is non-functional, because they possess a second gene which is functional, this is sufficient to make normal p53 tetramers which can bind DNA and regulate the cell cycle. So some mutations of this gene can be dominant while others can be recessive.